the Munkra's assignment algorithm, also known as the Hungarian algorithm. Let's start with the problem. Imagine you own an internet service provider and as part of your package you offer free installations for your latest Wi-Fi hub. In one area, there are three installation jobs pending. Additionally, you have three workers in the area for completing the jobs. Each worker has a cost associated with travelling to each of the three jobs. For example, for worker 1, it costs £40 to travel to job 1, £60 to travel to job 2 and £15 to travel to job 3. Here are the travel costs for all the workers. Since you are covering the costs of the installation, you want to assign the workers to each job in a way that minimises the overall travel costs. It is easier to solve this problem by representing it as an n by n matrix, where in this case n equals 3. Here, the rows represent workers and the columns represent the jobs. The problem constitutes that no two workers be assigned the same job and no two jobs be assigned to the same workers. This is a correct assignment. Here, we can add all the costs to reduce the overall travel cost. So for this assignment, it is £95. Here's another assignment. This assignment is £115. If we calculate the cost of all six iterations, we can find the assignment which produces the minimal overall cost, the optimal solution. We can see for that this problem, it is £70, giving us an assignment of worker 1 to job 3, worker 2 to job 1, and worker 3 to job 2. Great, we have solved our problem. However, this is a problem for where n equals 3. For small n, this method may suffice. But for larger n, say 100, it does not. In general, for an n by n matrix, we have n assignments to choose from in the first column, then n minus 1 in the second column, since we cannot choose the same assignment chosen in the first column, then n minus 2 in the third column, and so on and so forth until we reach 1. This is n factorial, giving us a time complexity of big O of n factorial. This is not good. Solve problems with larger n more efficiently, we need the Munkra's assignment algorithm. Let's use the Munkra's algorithm to solve the problem. Step 1. Row reduction. We're first going to find the minimum of each row. We're then going to subtract each row's minimum from every value in that row. This means that each row now contains at least one zero. We're now going to repeat step one, but on the columns rather than the rows. First, find the minimum of each column. Then, subtract each column's minimum from every value in that column. This means that each column now contains at least one zero. Step three, test for an optimal assignment. To do this, we draw the minimum number of straight lines on the matrix to cover all the zeros. If the number of lines is equal to the number of rows and columns, an optimal assignment can be made and we can skip to step 5. In our example, we have covered the zeros using three lines. This is equal to the number of rows and columns, so we can skip to step 5. Later on, we go through an example where step 4 will be required. Step 5, making the final assignment. We choose n zeros, where n is the number of rows and columns, whilst ensuring that each row and column of the matrix only contains one chosen zero. In our example, the chosen zeros are starred. These chosen zeros represent our final assignment of workers to jobs. To obtain the total minimum cost, we sum the values of the original matrix that are in the same positions as our chosen zeros. What happens if, during step 3, the number of lines is less than n? Let's find out using a new example. Step 1. Row reduction. Subtract the row minimums from each row's values. Step 2. Column reduction. Subtract the column minimums from each column's values. Step 3. Test for an optimal assignment. Cover the zeros with straight lines. In this case, the number of lines is less than n, so we go to step 4. Step 4. Shift zeros. We need to shift at least one zero to an uncovered position in order to increase the minimum number of lines required to cover all of the zeros. To do this, we first find the smallest uncovered value, in this case, five. 
This value is then subtracted from all the uncovered values and added to each value situated at the intersection of two lines. The lines are then removed and we jump back to step three. Step three, test for an optimal assignment. Step three covers the zeros with three lines, so we jump to step five. Step five, making the final assignment. During step five, you may find more than one way of choosing n zeros, as is the case with this example. This is okay, as all the choices will have the same total cost. Problem. What happens if you have more workers than jobs or jobs than workers? Simply add extra rows or columns, fill the zeros and discard any assignments of these in the final solution. Step one and two involve scanning and adjusting each value of the matrix. As there are n squared values, the time complexity is big O of n squared. Step three covers the zeros with lines. It can do this by visiting each zero of which there are at most n squared, and covering it if not already covered. Step four scans and adjusts at most big O of n squared values, thus both step three and four are big O of n squared. Steps three and four also iterate while the number of lines is less than n. Each iteration causes the number of lines to increase by at least one, therefore there are at most big O of n iterations, each of which is big O of n squared, meaning big O of n cubed in total. Step five sums n values of the original matrix, thus is big O of n. The overall complexity is therefore big O of n cubed. So there we have it. We have shown how to use the Munkra's assignment algorithm and that it is an efficient method to solve the assignment problem. Thank you for watching.